Hello, my name is Selena. And my name's Theoni, and you are listening to Piping Hot. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Piping Hot. We are so excited that you are with us for another fantastic week. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, very happy to see you guys. Well, (laughs) that actually doesn't make sense. I am coming off of a weekend. This sounds so fucking like, oh, I did this. You're so posh. I know, like, (laughs) uh, um, but no, I... (laughs) not i like i've never in my life been described as posh like yeah. cla- no but anyways i'm just getting back from a weekend at the cape um at my friend's like family's house yeah. and we literally just like sat around we decorated christmas cookies we made like christmas themed drinks y'all i made this winter margarita Ooh. i messed up the proportions it tasted <laughs> <laughs> it tasted okay but it was like straight alcohol and like I calculated it after and I had to tell my friends I was like yo so I didn't realize but there's three shots in every drink so Shot. just be careful <laughs> three yeah. shots and two yeah, shots I of vodka <laughs> yeah, no literally <laughs> um whoa so yeah so that was that but um my friend made a dirty santa which is like a dirty shirley nice and my other friend made a sugar cookie martini so we had like a really fun what? like thing and we decorated cookies. We went through so many Christmas movies, it's nuts, but it was much needed, I think, to just chill. Good. Oh my god, mm. that sounds like so much fun. Oh, it I really love that. was. I think I freaking needed it, bro. Yeah. Like Thursday was just a rough honestly, last week was a shit show at work. Yeah. Like it was just so much stuff going on. Yeah. And I and then I was going to work, like, remotely on Friday, but then I kind of had a headache Thursday night, and I was like, meh, and then just got some news on Thursday from work, and then I was like, you know what, peace, peace. Yeah. the F out, like, y'all. Like, I've had enough for this week. I think I'm done. No, literally. Like, goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I think I just, after work last week, I just needed a break, and yeah. I literally did nothing, and... Now we're here. I have a load of laundry in. I'm going to order good. some food tonight and just chill. Good. That's good. Yeah. Nice. Mellow. I, I'm happy to. You? Oh, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. I'm fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Work has been like really, really slow, which I am mm. thankful for. Um, it's funny because I was joking with Jack. Like I got a client email on like a Friday morning or something. A regular client email. It wasn't even, like, any emergency thing. It was just them reaching out yeah. about a question. And I was like, ugh, I have to work. <laughs> I have to answer this email. And I'm like, oh, I have to do what I normally fucking do. Yeah. <laughs> no, but when you're not in the zone of doing it, it feels like yeah. a lot. Yeah, because I yeah. was, like, so checked out that week, like, this whole last week, which, again, is very nice and I'm taking advantage of it. But it's just it's just so funny of, like, oh, my God, I have to work. Like, yeah, yeah Selena, you you do. You do. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no. I mean, okay, so work is slowing down, which is good. Mm-hmm. But like my life outside is just like I could also take a break. Like I could mm. also just have like a hiatus or whatever from <laughs> it. <laughs> um so I went Christmas shopping on Love. Tuesday or whatever. Yeah, I was mm-hmm. just getting like wrapping paper and then just like picking up some like last minute gifts and doing all this stuff. And um, I went to like Target. Obviously, love Target. Um, Fuck and me I... up, Target. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's magical place. It is. It really is. <sighs> so I go back out after Target. I go into my car, and I get. I turn to start it. It doesn't start. Great. You know, I just sit there. I'm really like so weirdly. I am very very calm. Like I'm like okay. I don't care. Whatever happens, happens. We'll figure it out. Right? Yeah, good. Thankfully, Jack has like a a battery like jump start. One of those like mm. little. Big... Oh yeah, the halos. I have one of those yeah. in my car too. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Magic. Everyone should get one. Everyone yeah. should get one. Okay. Sponsor us, Halo. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I was like, you know, what? it's fine. We have the thing in there. I can jump it, right? Mm -hmm. Have I ever jumped a fucking car? No, absolutely (laughs) not. So I'm like Googling, watching YouTube videos, and I'm like, okay, cool. I think I know what I'm doing. Grab the battery. I turn it on, and the battery just starts 
going down because we haven't used it in so long and we haven't recharged it either holy and so shit. it goes all the way down to 50 percent. i'm like oh, holy shit hopefully so i got that's one enough. shot exactly dead. yeah hopefully it's, it's enough like, like juice to get death. it yeah oh my <laughs> to God. get it get jump started right cool open the hood i'm like okay i see the battery right <laughs> And I'm, I'm like FaceTiming Jack or whatever. And so I'm like putting the fucking cliffs on and doing whatever the fuck it is. And I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. I had like a question because I was like, I don't know where to put like the minus one or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Like I was talking to Jack on FaceTime and this very, very nice guy came up to me and he was like, oh my God, do you need any help? Are you okay? Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm totally fine. I just don't know where this one goes. Like the yeah. whatever. And he like puts it on for me. He's like, yep, oh, nice. make sure it's turned on. And... And then try to start the car, and he's still mm -hmm. there. And I was like, okay, cool. I go to go in to turn it on, doesn't start. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, we wait a little bit, try again, still doesn't start. He's like, you know what? Let me bring my car over, and wow, I'll good jump Samaritan. it for you, right? He pulls over with his nice ass truck, and yeah. he he like pops up his hood, grabs the cables that he has in the back. Hooks it up to his car first, right? And then brings it over to mine. His cord is too short. <laughs> so. Oh, my God. We're right? Remember, I'm still weirdly calm. Very mm. weirdly calm, okay? And I'm like, oh, don't worry about it, right? Okay, cool. I'm, I keep trying again with the battery that I have. My battery mm -hmm. that I have. Like, my little jump start thing. And then the guy comes back and he bought new ca car cables in Target that are longer. To like, what the heck? Yeah, it's like does that these days? Right? What a Literally, king. What's right. his name? I have no clue. Ugh. He was just really, really nice, right? So we do that. He hooks it up again, does all that stuff. Still doesn't work. Oh my my car is still dead. So I was like, okay, well, we try again a couple of times going back and forth between like my little like battery mm -hmm. pack and like his car still doesn't work. And uh, at this point, I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to go home. I'm just going to Uber home because I'm yeah. obviously not going to stay here figure at the Target, right whatever. Yeah. yeah. And Jack is going to come home from work. We'll go back together and figure it out. Figure right. It out. Yeah. Plus, two, I wanted to go recharge that like battery jump yeah. start thing because it was mm -hmm. fucking dead. Right. Go back home, charge it. Jack comes home. We go back to the target and we try to jump it again. This time I move like the minus to a different area or whatever because mm -hmm. I you're supposed to put like the plus on the plus yeah, and yeah. then the minus on something or whatever. Yep. Put it on. It works. Turn it on, the battery. Turn on the car. It works. <laughs> so you had the minus thing on the wrong thing. Yes, I did. Yeah. So if anyone is wondering, put the plus on the plus. Don't put the minus on the minus. Put it on something else. Put it on a ground like just metal. metal. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did not know that. Now I know how to jump a car. Okay. <laughs> I'm amazing. Okay. Look at you. Right. Uh, so yeah. So we're doing that. Whatever. And then Jack and I went to Costco today just for like a regular Costco run or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he's like, let's go fill up my tires or whatever because the mm -hmm. Costco has like a really nice like air pump or whatever. Yeah. And we're looking at the back tire. There's a fucking nail on the tire. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all. Oh, my God. So did you have right? to take it in to get a patch? Yeah. So we're going to get okay. it patched up tomorrow morning because okay. I think we nice. try to call around. A lot of the shops around here are closed on Sundays. Oh, okay. Um, and so the other shop that was open is already full for today. So we're going to go mm. right away tomorrow morning. Oh, my God. To get it patched. But, like. God, something was in the air this weekend for you guys right? with your cars. What the heck? Right? So that's what I was going to tell you. We don't have to rush because we're not going. We don't. Oh, we had to cancel not? our plans tonight. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Oh, no. Because I just don't feel comfortable, like, driving both cars. Because, like, one, yeah. I don't think the Hyundai can even fucking start without a jump. And I know mm. I read online that, like, it's not good to keep constantly jumping it. Like, we should sure. go get it fixed. And then, yeah. two, I don't want to drive with the nail still in the tire because it can like split the tire even more mm. and I'm like you know what I just don't want to do that so Fair. we're gonna stay home <laughs> yeah that makes sense oh yeah. I'm sorry you guys don't get to go yeah. though no it's fine it's fine I'm just like you know what there's always next year so <laughs> yeah always next year yeah, yeah. 
Um, but yeah, so my car problems. I was joking to Jack. I was like, oh, it's like the universe knows that like I haven't owned a car since 18. So yeah. now they're like, oh, Selena needs to catch needs up with all the, the car problems. Yeah, so let's do it all at once. Like give her all the car problems all at once. I'm like, great. That's rude. <laughs> yeah, <Thanks>. right? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's been good. I'm slowly starting to write again, which I think I had mentioned like hey, last yeah. week or whatever. It's going you re-outlined it. And... Yes, yeah. It's it's going fine. I'm like not pressuring myself to like good. write an X amount of words or whatever. Cause you know good. me, I can get psycho, but like I just like don't need that stress right now. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. I think especially at the end of the year, there's a lot going on. Like yeah. just give yourself the time. You'll you'll get there yeah yeah yeah. um and it's so funny though too because like i haven't drafted in so long mm. that like it's interesting like what kind of comes back because i don't know for sure. you but like dra- drafting for me is like such a different mindset than editing yeah so when i'm drafting like for example my main female character she like is just a compulsive liar and i'm like oh that's weird like i don't know how she like yeah came came about yes I was like I was like this is weird like I kept like she kept lying and lying and I was like that is interesting and I will run with it yeah no 100 percent. but that's the I think that's the best thing you could do is not put too much pressure on yourself with the first draft of a first series or like whatever it is it's like you need to just like let it happen yes organically yeah yeah definitely yeah but yeah that's (sighs) pretty much it yeah love that what are you doing for Christmas I'm going back home to okay, nice. Green Bay. Um, right. I think, yeah, it's just like a, my immediate family. We're just going to do cool. a Christmas. Nice. Um, but, yeah. Love what that. about you? You're flying back, right? I'm going to Minnesota. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I, it's, it's in so much back and forth, like, these yeah. past, like, three months, I feel yes. like. So, um, it's going to be a lot of family time, and I'm really excited for that. But I come back Christmas night because I have to work the next day, so... It'll be a good shut good up. Old Wait. Time. So when is your when are when are you guys celebrating Christmas? Are you doing like a Christmas so, Eve? So or I Christmas fly. Morning? So I fly in Thursday night. I'll be there, and then we're doing Christmas Eve with my dad's family, and then Christmas Day morning with the four of us because that's like our big tradition. Oh, and then cute. we're gonna make like steaks before I leave for the airport because my flight's not until like eight thirty. So that's going to be like our Christmas dinner. You're going to yep. be eating good. Yo. <laughs> I love steak. Yeah, I know you do. Literally, like, if you need to get me a gift, anyone ever, like, if if fans, like, want to buy me a gift, like, you can just send me, like, a filet. Yeah, I'll be literally. Happy. Literally. Like, that's all I want. That's so Fuck. funny. Yeah, oh, I love steak. Wait, so when are Sorry. you flying out? I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, uh, five ish on Thursday. Oh, so, so you're leaving on a on this Thursday, like tomorrow? Well, next, um, tomorrow it's Sunday. Well, because so because, <laughs> because oh. if, when this Dude, airs, you just threw me for a loop. I, I was like, what day do you think it I fucking know. is? Because <laughs> when this airs, it'll be a Wednesday, so you technically then leave. On a Thursday, which would be tomorrow, uh-huh. when this. Why ends. are you doing this? I don't know. Why are you doing this? Because to I'm us? trying to get the <laughs> listeners to come along with this journey. Well, guess okay. What? The listeners can <laughs> figure it the fuck oh, out. Oh, They're oh, smart. Oh, oh. Yeah. My listeners are smart. They can. Yeah, they got they are. this. <laughs> so you leave on Thursday. <sighs> yeah. Wow. Whatever Thursday is coming after when yeah. you're listening to this, Whatever. or actually, that's probably not true for many yeah. people. <laughs> <laughs> okay shut up anyways <laughs> i was saying shut up to myself not to you oh, okay <laughs> thank you for the clarification mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. um okay fun very nice yeah. and then what are you doing for new year's sorry maybe oh. we're jumping plans but well we should talk about new year's our next episode okay okay sorry sorry i'm just yeah god selena can i you know just i just ruin down. it oh <laughs> i ruined everything i know we jumped so many steps. To I get know to we that. did. But don't ruin everything. You make everything better. Um, what are you drinking today? Water. Good. Yeah. I yeah, girl. Oof the Martha. After all those drinks this yeah. weekend and the salty food and just like everything. Yeah. Yo girly needs hydration. Oh, like yeah. you know when you pee and you're like, Oh, I haven't had a sip of water in eighty four like, years. At all. Yes. Yeah. yeah it's so bad. Literally me this afternoon. I was yeah. like, 
it's time to <laughs> it's time to chug some it's water. time to hydrate H2O. okay yeah mm-hmm. what are you nice. drinking i'm actually drinking tea this time around you oh, guys shit. you what guys you drinking? <laughs> <laughs> i'm just drinking peppermint tea again nice. a comfort honestly Honestly, I should be drinking more tea because this right? hits. This no, hits. it does hit. I know. It's so good. But my drinks are through phases. Yeah, you no, know? same. Yeah. And then I'm drinking out of my mug. I don't know if you can see. I got this from Anime Is that Christmas. No, 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 no. It's like, oh. I don't know if you can really see. Oh, the hands on the. <laughs> I definitely is that thought, sexual? No, it's I, not. I thought I thought it was a behind situation. I, I did not look at that you right. You think I'm that so I would sorry. get a mug with that expression? Hey, <laughs> I'm not judging you. Like, I'm not you're not judging gonna you. ick like, someone's yum. I'm not gonna ick your yum. Yeah, um, but no. What anime is it from? Um, it's from Jujutsu Kaisen. I got Ooh. this from. Um, anime Christmas because me and my friends we do like anime oh, yeah. Monday and we decided to do an anime Christmas and we all did white elephant and so oh, we all cute. brought a gift and like we yeah it was super fun and honestly I was like number one and like for white elephant you don't want to go first right because you want to like mm-hmm. steal the gift depending mm-hmm. on how you play your white sure. elephant um, but I went first and I was just like, oh, this one's like calling to me. And I'm mm-hmm. so happy I got this because it's Yay! so cute. Yeah. It's literally so cute. So I love that. Yeah. What are you reading, watching, listening to, consuming? Reading. So I think I had already told you, but I don't think I told the listeners. I finished reading Divine Rivals by mm-hmm. Rebecca Ross and it was absolutely amazing. Okay. <laughs> I haven't read a book like that in so long and it literally just like floored me the thing is though too is that i no no longer trust book talk so like Mm. whenever a recommendation comes through on book talk i'm like i don't i'm not gonna listen to you because you guys give shit recommendations fair enough but my friend who is so she's like such a tough critique like nothing Mm -hmm. can please her and she messaged me and she's like you have to read it because it's actually good and I'm like oh if you liked it then Then I'll love it yeah nice and it was so good it was literally so good the sequel comes out next week and I'm so excited I'm gonna grab it and I'm just gonna like devour it like I'm so excited um, we also finished our book club read this month, which is called Kiss Her Once For Me by Alison Cochran. Um, it was like a holiday, um, little messy romance. Like, it well, was that just... book was so messy. <laughs> if you so want messy. all the chaos, the entire book, <laughs> read that book. Yeah. Like, and sorry, not to jump in on your thoughts. Yeah, yeah. It, I think we we agreed pretty much on where we yes. stood with the book. Yeah, like three three and a half stars. Yeah, where it's like it was it was what you kind of expected you yeah. were getting, but some of the parts were just kind of interesting and I don't know, wasn't my favorite like holiday romance. But yes. it was messy yes. and like fun. It was, so. yeah. I mean, it yeah. was fun. It was messy. I got what I wanted, but like, was it my absolute favorite? No, no. But yeah. it's still like a really fun, lighthearted read. Also, a really yep. fast read too. If someone super just wants fast, to... yeah, you yeah. could blow through it exactly. And so now I am reading The City We Became by NJ, N.K. Jemsen. It's an adult fantasy, I think, technically. I think it kind of goes into sci-fi. But okay, um, cool. it's okay. I'm like 140 okay. pages in. Mm-hmm. I'm just not really vibing with it right now. But I'm going to okay. finish it because I can't yeah. DNF a book. You know me. So yeah, I, have to, like, I get it. I have to Girl, finish it. I get that so hard. Right? It's kind of like, um, it gives off the vibes of, like, everything, everywhere, all at once. Just, like, oh, really yeah. weird and surreal and, like, all of this shit is happening and there's no mm. explanation and it's just going to keep going and you have to, like, save the universe and blah, blah, blah. So it's, like, it's like a very big, like, concept conceptually. Sure. I just, like, I think I just need to read it more. Like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> so, just kind of get through it. Yeah. Get into it. I yeah. get you. What are you reading? Um, I finished Kiss Her Once for Me, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have not started a new book yet. I was going to start mm. Cersei, but <gasps> yes. I still haven't, which is the one by Madeline Miller, who yep. also wrote Song of Achilles. Yes. But then one of my friends just got me Fourth Wing this weekend. 
So <laughs> I feel like I had to get it. Why did you? Okay. Did you get me fourth wing? No, I didn't. I just yes, very, you did. I have very strong opinions about fourth wing. Okay. Yeah. No, I know you do. Have you seen I my rating on it on Goodreads? Yeah, I have very strong opinions about it. <laughs> I know, but here's the thing, Selena. I've been telling everyone about that because you are the only friend that I've talked to who mm-hmm. is not the biggest fan of it. Even How like my friends who are super into like fantasy, like my friend Kira, you know? How interesting. Um, loves it. So How interesting. I, don't I know, think man. I I it's it's like definitely not my cup of tea. Mm-hmm. I think there are way better fantasies out there. Sure. I mean I guess we'll freaking see. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I was going to say it's fun, but it's not. I like. I personally don't think it's fun. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, but we'll, we'll discuss whenever I get around to that. But yeah. those will be I, my... I want to hear your thoughts, though, because I think the way that we have been analyzing books in our book club this year mm-hmm. has been very, very helpful for me personally. Yeah. Just like even outside of the genre of fantasy, even sure. when we were um, dissecting... Eleanor Ol- Ol- Oliphant oh, yeah. is completely fine. Well, we were dissecting that. Like, that was super fun mm-hmm. to, like, see just, like, what we pick out. Yeah. So I want to hear your thoughts. Okay. I want to hear your thoughts on it because you're not an avid fantasy reader. Like, mm-hmm. you're you're not, like, too well versed in it. I'm an SJM it. fantasy yes. reader. Yes, yeah, Let's yeah, yeah. so real. Yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. but um, I'm... I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Okay. So just okay. send me all your audio messages. I, I want to hear. I will. <laughs> I want to hear. Um, okay. What are you watching? Oh, um, so I think like a couple of episodes back or like, I don't know, maybe in the summer or something, I was watching an anime called Heaven Officials Blessing. Well, season two came out. And so I've been watching that as it kind of airs. Okay. And it's literally so good. It's so good. I like the the two characters just need to kiss. Like that's what they just need to do. Like they're so <sighs> cute. They're so cute. And you know what? You know what? It's the trope where like um, in like season one, I think like one of the guys was like, oh, like in a joking way. He was like, oh, because they're gods, right? They're the gods. And he's like, oh, like may- like the next time that you see me, I'll show you my real face. And then in season two, when they see each other again, he's like, he realizes that like, oh my gosh, he's been showing me his real face this entire time because the facade that he's wearing right now isn't it. It's like a different. Interesting. And I'm like, I love that shit because it's like, oh, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, the next time I see you, I'm going to see your real face. Actually, yeah. I love you. So you've been seeing my real face the entire time. <laughs> oh, puke. <laughs> right? Right. Literally puke. I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, you're obsessed. You're, you guys are both so obsessed with each other. Like, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Love it. Um, and then Jack and I have just been watching like a random season of Survivor. So nice. All right. I love that. Yeah. What have you been watching? Well, I kind of mentioned this. I watched so many freaking Christmas movies this mm-hmm. weekend. Yeah. Like, so many. Uh, Fred Claus, which I'd never seen. We watched the Santa Claus. We watched Elf. We watched. I literally I can't even we watched some of the office Christmas episodes nice what else did we watch so many movies that's been what I've been <laughs> watching since last week good I I honestly, what's your favorite Christmas movie I think you know this it's like the one that you hate I don't hate Christmas movies yes what the Polar Express I'm sorry, that shit is fucked up. <laughs> right? That shit is so fucked yeah, up. Yeah, I know. I, I, don't I, care I told who you that. You are. No, you it's hate it. Weird. You Tom hate it. Tom Hanks should not play every no. weird character. I love it. I love it. And then the little girl on the train with her like the the worst posture I've ever seen in my life, and she's just bobbing the worst, around. The worst posture. No, she's literally. ten. You look over. Get off her back. Like, hey, 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 hey. Get off her. She's, she's like ten. She's and then the kid with the glasses is like that guy from Shrek, where he's like, You're "Do right. the R." Like literally, <laughs> uh, 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 tell me they're not like the same. In no, they are. Universes. Yeah. yeah. No, you're right. Um, but yeah, I, I, Polar Express is very polarized. You either yeah. love it or yes. you think it's weird yeah. as heck. Yeah. I was talking I about it. that with my friends this weekend, actually. I love it. I just, I, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been listening to? What have I been listening to? Well, I've been listening to the album we're going to talk about this week, obviously. Yes. Um, but I don't think I've really been listening to anything specific, to be honest. Um, mm. I feel like all the music I've been listening to um, 
I've already talked about, but the one new song I've been listening to is FTCU by Nicki Minaj. It's off of her new Pink Friday 2 album. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that song is so... <laughs> God, I... We were listening to it in the car with my friends, and I was like, I've never felt whiter listening to any song because I'm sitting there and I'm like, yeah, it's Nicki, woo! And it's yes, so it's <laughs> it's so bad but i literally love that song so much i don't think i've heard it i've heard some songs off of her new album but i don't think i've heard that one you would love it especially the part the part that is kind of like on tiktok um is definitely one of the best parts Mm. of the song okay because it's like just the rhythm of it oh you're gonna love working out to that okay like yeah (laughs) good nice what have you been listening to Nothing much. Again, the album that we're going to talk about. Honestly, what I need to listen to is Sabrina Carpenter's like Christmas EP. Christmas album. Yeah, I cake. haven't. I haven't like listened to all of it. Obviously, I know the nonsense Christmas I've listened to before, mm-hmm. um, but I haven't listened to her like other sing other songs on it. And I've heard that they're really, really good. So I, yeah. I'll probably listen to that. Okay. The one song that I am listening to mm-hmm. is called Fever by this K-pop group called oh. En Hyphen. And honestly, the, it's like not inherently sexual, but it is, okay? It is, okay? <laughs> that is my thesis, okay? It truly is. I know what they're doing, right? Like it's Ooh. not it's yeah. it's not it's not like all like really sexy or whatever, but it's like these little tiny things. I'm like, I know what you're doing. You're like it's like <laughs> Like in but like after the first chorus and before mm-hmm. the second verse, he like pants two times, very subtle. But I know what you're doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like I know what you're doing. And then again, then guess what? The first line in the second verse after the panting is mm-hmm. "Don't stop." I'm like, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> I'm like this. Okay, you're not as subtle as I, you think exactly. you are. Exactly, I was like, mm-hmm. I see what you're doing. You're not sneaky, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, what have you been consuming? So much shit. So yeah. much fucking shit. <laughs> um, I have eaten pizza. I've had a bunch of snacks, a veggie platter. We went out to dinner, and I got salmon with these Brussels sprouts that mm. were so freaking good. Yum. Um, um, yeah, I feel like that's mostly it. One day we made like bagel sandwiches and like pancakes with bacon for breakfast, which is really good. So just a lot of stuff like that. Yeah. How about you? Um, So Jack and I had Chipotle on Friday. And then yesterday night we had Panda House. And then tonight we'll probably have pizza. <laughs> We're yes. just so lazy. We're so lazy. No, everyone needs a weekend like yeah, that. It's so, it's so fun. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh, All right, are we ready to jump into pop culture? I think so, and I okay. got nothing. I got nothing. 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 Don't make me. <laughs> I was waiting Wait, no, for you I to did. finish. I did. No, I, I didn't switch songs. No, you did. It was just a key change. I thought I was about to start singing, and I will always love. <laughs> But different. Oh god. No, I mean it's the same song. It's just a key change. That's probably what's not. You off. Yes, it uh, is. Y- well, it is a key change. Are you saying the key change threw me off? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Then you're correct. <laughs> oh my god. It's like oh. we were. Um, this is really not funny, and this is definitely sharing too much, but my friends this weekend like we're all therapists right and so we were talking about just like different things and we were talking about ADHD and um my friend was talking about this client she's working with who has ADHD and she was talking to her supervisor about this client and she was like yeah my supervisor said this thing that really just stuck with me and I'm like oh that makes sense for someone with ADHD and then I was like hearing that and I was like well shit (laughs) I was like, am I getting diagnosed before yeah. my eyes? Yeah. I was like, holy shit. But yeah, um, <laughs> it was basically like, for example, like if you're in a room of people, it's like you're trying to focus on the conversation you're having, but it's not like you just hear a little bit of noise around you. It's like you can't help, but your brain is literally listening to like full conversations yeah, yeah. all at once. Yeah. And it's like super overstimulating. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That makes and sense. I was like, <laughs> hmm. 
You're like, huh, interesting. <laughs> nah, I got a therapist to diagnose me myself, yeah. but it just makes it think, you know? What were we talking about? <laughs> Pop culture. <laughs> oh my fuck. Sorry. Okay. Go, just shut me up. Shut okay, me my up. first one is that <laughs> Zach Efron got his star yes, on the Walk of he Fame. Did. Mm-hmm. And it was just so cute. And he said, go Wildcats at the end. It was so cute. Love and it. Kenny Ortega was there. And he, he honored Matthew Perry, which was yeah. very nice. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, Kenny Ortega was the choreographer for all the high school musical movies. And then yeah. Matthew Perry was a Friends actor who died, who Zac Efron was in 17 again. Yep. yep. With. Yeah. My second one is that Andre Bauer has passed away at 61 and he was captain holt oh. in brooklyn 99 as well as ncis i think he had a role in that um and that made me really sad because i love him like love 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 him and yeah i mean 61 is so young too like i feel like i've never seen that show oh you would love it i you know would love it. it's, it's I, by um, I, the same guy yeah, and everyone has said that, and then I saw that, like, he died, and I was like, wow, I should watch it. It was, like, a yeah. reminder, but it is very young. Yeah, Gosh. very, very Do you young. know what happened? Um, I like... think they released The Cause of Death, but I have not looked that up. Okay, so. gotcha. Um, but, yeah, I think you would like it. It's the same creator of, like, The Office and Parks, Parks and Rec and, Rec and yeah. Good Place, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but, Mike yeah, Shirk, I also just, like, name, right? yes, yep. Yeah. I okay. also just really like Andy Sandberg. Sandberg yeah uh, Sam, yeah whatever his name is um I love him Andy I love Sammy. yeah I Sorry. loved him on SNL and he's so funny in the show too so um yeah. but yeah my third pop culture item is that they have release dates for Bridgerton season three and it is they coming are messed up for those yes, they are mm-hmm. yes I am piss and you know what it's so interesting because everyone's like oh it's going to be canceled it's going to be canceled i don't think it's going to be canceled i think netflix is just stretching their success as far as they can yeah same because thing with stranger things 100 percent. because the thing is is like netflix did this whole like stupid thing with you have to be in the same household to use the account and all this mm-hmm. stuff to try to get people to stop sharing accounts but then they made it like way more expensive and like stupid to use but pe- they know that people are going to pay to watch Bridgerton yeah so they're releasing it in two parts yes so two parts first part is season two parts two parts so the first part is going to be May 2024 Talking. the second part December 2024 and all I'm saying no, is no I thought better- it's in June it's like May and then June is it yeah I think so oh I it's, didn't only, know that. it's only a couple weeks because that's what they did for you season four. That's oh, what they did for Stranger weird. Things. And now they're doing it for Bridgerton, too. Oh, I thought it was like a whole half a year. Between no, it. Okay, no. I'm dumb. They better but still, no, episodes. still, though, two parts. No, it's probably going to be the same fucking 10 or eight or whatever it is. It's so dumb because they're just trying to milk it out and everyone can see. Like, I just yep. I Netflix has been on my shit list this year. Yeah, that's no, who literally that's who's been on my shit. Netflix list. are getting cold like <laughs> fuck you yeah i don't know i just like ugh, they've been pissing me off anyways yeah but <laughs> number four for pop culture is that olivia rodrigo and lewis P- patridge are a couple now they were oh, like yeah. seen kissing in new york and whatever honestly honestly i vibe with that couple like i think they're so I, cute i don't know anything about him but they look cute together he uh, I, so i've I've seen him in Enola Holmes, which is on Netflix. Fuck you, Netflix. Um, <laughs> but he's so good in it. And he's, like, so adorable. And, like, I just, like, love them together. I They make Aww. a very cute couple. Honestly, okay. I vibe. I vibe. Pop, pop, pop. I approve, okay? <laughs> As if she's seeking my fucking approval. She probably so, is. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, my fifth pop culture item as uh, Ariana Grande and Jennifer Hudson were surprise guests for Mar- Mariah Carey's Christmas concert at Madison Square Garden last weekend and they sang Oh Santa together for the first time live I think since they released it in 2020 which I think is super fun so I know it's yeah, kind of old but love it. well that's all right yeah um, and then my last pop culture item is that Demi Lovato is engaged to I didn't Jordan even know she was dating Lutz. somebody. Me neither. So. I, 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 she just, I want her to be happy. Yes. So I just yeah. hope it works out. It's all I know. good. That yeah. he treats her well. That's whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, congrats to her. So. <laughs> 
Um, I think that is it for pop culture. Alrighty. Well, Selena, tell our audience what we're going to be talking about today. This week, Theoni mm-hmm. and I are going to be chatting about Tate McRae's newest album called Think Later, which she had just released, I think, like a week or two ago. So it's still mm-hmm. pretty, pretty new. I am excited to talk about it because I never listened to her old album in full, but yeah. I feel like her, whatever marketing has been going on has been really um, successful mm-hmm. because she's all over my For You page. Oh, yeah. And, like, I was never even a fan initially, and so, yeah, I'm excited to to talk about it. But why don't – do you want to start with overall thoughts? Yes. Do you okay. want to go first? Sure. Um – I think I like the album. Mm-hmm. I think it it was what I expected. Yeah. I will say I got a little bored at some parts because mm. it was like the same formula for every single song. Yes. Yeah. I mean, the chorus was like a very, like every chorus was like a typical pop chorus where uh-huh. it would like repeat and like whatever. Mm-hmm. So knowing music like that, I felt like sometimes it got pretty repetitive. Yeah. Um, her voice isn't my favorite, mm-hmm. but I, you know me with like the yeah. babyish yeah. like whatever voices, Indie it's just voice, not my cup anything of tea. like that. Yeah. Yes, I just can't. Yeah, um, I do think she sounds very good, like consistent, and she can sing how she sings on her record live. So I have yes. respect for that. Yes. Um, but yeah, I feel like I wasn't like obsessed, but I didn't yeah. like hate it. I thought it was like a good album, like good, solid, just pop. So. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I liked it, surprisingly. Okay. Like, I was honestly impressed. Okay. Um, there were more ballads on it than I had liked, but mm-hmm. that's just because I know she's so good at, like, these upbeat bops that she mm-hmm. does, which is why I kind of, like, wanted more. But, like, mm-hmm. I, I still really like the ballads as well. It's interesting you say that because I could, like, tell in some songs, like, she – her like um her like chord progression was almost like predictable like i i like knew where it yep. was going to go and mm-hmm. i again not a bad thing but it's like it's always just like interesting to like see an artist and their craft and like what but, they do like i don't but know that's why i think even if it's not like your cup of tea for an album like if you listen to the album, you are getting a pop album with like yes. the chord progression, yes. the song structure, yes. everything, the lyrics, everything about it like screams pop. Yes. So like, yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, it's funny too because I was listening to "Think Later," which is like the mm. title track of the album. It's very, very, very reminiscent of "Bad Girls" by M.I.A. I have never heard that song, but I think it sampled that along with Ariana Grande's unreleased song "Jada." <gasps> really yeah have you heard jada um i i feel let like me, i've heard like a million unreleased ariana grande songs okay, on tiktok let me find this quick but i think you know bad girls it's like a live no no wait i would need to hear it so this is this is jada by ariana grande okay. Actually, I haven't so heard that in, unreleased song. That's interesting. Yeah, it it slaps. Um, but I'm pretty sure that she sampled it because it it's the same. This is Bad Girls. I think you've heard of it before. It's so because it's like the same thing, like Paper Planes or whatever that they okay. have. The other one, this one. Oh yeah, and it's like literally almost the same. I think. Yeah. Right? Like it's like it's I like think- that. I think she meshed the two songs. I think Don't she did too. Don't quote me on that, but I, I think that was like purposeful that yeah. she sampled oh, yeah. them. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. I never, as I was You've listening heard... to it, I was like, oh my God, this sounds like Bad Girls. And like, yeah. obviously Greedy is um, that one Tim Lynn, Nelly Furtado song. But yeah, okay. Those are my overall thoughts. That was really what? long overall thoughts. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. Um, um, top three favorite songs? Sure. Okay. Um, I have one honorable mention. So. I have a couple honorable mentions. <laughs> okay, so you're the honorable mention whore now. I'm just yeah, because saying, I learned from that you. Fucking t- I yeah, learned well, from I you. I learned from you. And look what happened now. <laughs> mm, interesting. No, you're the you're the honorable mention whore now. I am. You took I am. the title. Sorry. All right. <laughs> All right. So let 
so my honorable mention okay is cut my hair <gasps> love that song it, it's Ooh, a really good song. song i will say the only thing I like that song, but I did not like it as an album opener. It I agree. It didn't feel like it packed enough of a punch. I agree. And there's nothing super special even about the intro yeah. going into it. So I was yeah. like, eh. Um, so I think that's why it was a little more... It's weird because I feel like I might have liked it even more had it been somewhere else in the album. Because oh, like I, was ex- I had high expectations that first song that you listen to yeah um but i did really like that yeah song, because so. it's literally like cut my hair and then greedy and i'm like mm-hmm. that's interesting yeah. like i don't yeah mm-hmm. i don't know um my honorable mentions is also cut my hair and then okay. calgary and then obviously greedy and exes mm-hmm. but yeah interesting okay <laughs> cool what's your number three i want to hear your number three Okay, my number three is Hurt My Feelings. Um, Ooh, I'm not okay. going to lie. I forgot what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> um, but That's okay. I remember it's your number three. really liking it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it made your um, number three. I need to refresh my memory. Okay. I'm so sorry. This know, is like okay. humiliating. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, wait. Oh, yes, where it's like... Yeah. Like, I love that melody. I mm-hmm. Every time I listened to that song, it sounded like this other song, but I could not remember what other song it was. So I'm going to have to do research yeah. to see if she sampled something mm, for that. Because, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Nice. What's your number three? My number three is We're Not Alike. One, because I... I think the chorus is just so catchy. Mm -hmm. Two, it's, I think, the only song. Well, okay, sorry. I don't want to say the only song. Mm -hmm. I think it's the only song that caught my attention, right? Mm. Because I don't think it was inherently about a boy. I think it's about a friendship that has gone wrong. And I think that's what I was like, oh, this is like, like, this is different from what Mm -hmm. I've heard, like, you know, the other tracks on her album, so... That makes sense. But yeah. Like it was something different, which was like exciting. Yeah. 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 yeah for sure. All righty. Yep. Okay. What's your number two? Um, okay. So my number two is Think Later, um, which is oh, okay. the title track from the album. Yeah. I just, you know, I love me like an upbeat song. Yeah. And like I knew in my brain that it sampled the unreleased Ariana song. Yeah. And I love that song. And so listening to it just felt so, like, cool, girl. Like, you kind of feel like, Ooh, like, just, like, yeah, the yeah, beat yeah. of it, you know? Yeah. Oh, um, definitely. But, yeah. It was just, like, super catchy. Nice. And I, I think I already knew what I was expecting with, like, X's and Greedy, obviously, because yes. those are the singles. Yes. And so this was the other song on the album that I felt fit kind of in that vein more. Yeah. Um, so that's why I liked it. Nice. Very nice. What's your number two? What is my number two? Oh, my number two is Run for the Hills. Mm-hmm. It's not an outright bop, but like mm-hmm. the chorus still hits. And so I just, that I don't know. Yes! It, she, I love it. She writes a good chorus. She writes a catchy she does. chorus. And you can't say that she doesn't. Yeah. Like she it, can. It's yeah. like such a good hook. She has like mm-hmm. so many good hooks. Um, yep. But yeah, no, I, I love it. <laughs> All right. My number one was one of your honorable mentions, it's actually. Green. It was Calgary. Oh! <gasps> Oh, yeah, that is very different for me. I know that is very different. Something about it, I just thought it was really catchy and like how interesting and like yeah, I don't know why, but it just like it caught it caught my attention. Yeah, yeah. Um, Wow, I I don't know what to say about it. That is like so not you. Slower, I know. I don't know. <laughs> oh god some some of the things i do i'm like i should be embarrassed yeah yeah um yeah anyways nice. what's nice. what's your number one my number one is actually your number three hurt my feelings okay i love that song not uh-huh. only for the beat but also because it's like almost like a challenge and you know mm-hmm. me i love me a challenge okay. yeah. i love a challenge and it's just like I, and she's, like, so unafraid in that song. Mm. And mm-hmm. so I just, like, I don't know. It's a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go into our top lyrics now? Yes. 
Okay. I did not rank my lyrics because okay. I never can. It's just like yeah, too yeah. hard for me. So I'll start. Um, this is kind of a twofer because they're both from the same song. So I just like okay. combine them. Um, but I loved, I didn't love the song as a whole a ton, a ton, which was grave. Mm-hmm. But I really like yeah. the lyrics of this song. Mm-hmm. So these are my two quotes. The first one is, yeah, I hold my grudges like I held you. How does me trying to fix it turn into I'll just forgive it? like that Ooh. holy shit it's literally just talk oh my gosh i don't know something about that where yeah. it's like how does me trying to fix it turn into i'll forgive it and i related to that so hard because yeah. it's like you you try to like kind of confront it or like fix it or say how you feel but then somehow in that conversation it turns into like you apologizing yeah. or you just being like i'll let it go i'll yep. let it go because it's like, like gone out it's of your too head. uncomfortable or yeah. like they're treating you a certain way so that like hit a little too a little too hard um that's some yeah. truth right there i know right <laughs> <laughs> um and then also from grave was in the chorus I could never make you want me like I wanted to be wanted. I could never really change you like I thought that I could. I was trying to make us something out of nothing. We were nothing at all. You can only dig the grave so deep. I I feel like yeah. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> like l- <laughs> It's, it's funny. Like, honestly, it's humorous. funny because when I like heard those lyrics, I was like, "You're like Theoni." <laughs> <laughs> no, literally, because it's like, and I think so many single people, especially dating in today's day and age, can relate to that so much. Mm-hmm. Where it's like you just want to be like loved in that way, so you try yeah. to make, you try to make something out of like nothing or like you kind of not really like ignore the red flags but like you make yourself more excited about it than you are yeah just to i don't know like have something so it's like yeah i don't know and then you feel dumb for doing that yeah but yeah holy wow this this album this album is relatable i'll give it (laughs) (laughs) some of the songs some of the songs Yeah, yeah yeah um okay so some of my favorite lyrics. So the mm-hmm. first one is from We're Not Alike, and it's literally just the entire fucking chorus. <laughs> okay. Um, said she was a girl's girl. That's a lie. Said she had my back, but she had the knife. I could never do it once, and she did it twice, and you wonder why we're not alike. I just, this, I think this chorus, when I first heard it, like, made me gasp. Because, mm-hmm. like, I value the friends that I hold close and you know Mm -hmm. it's not a lot because I don't like a lot of people right (laughs) um and it's for this very reason right it's like oh like she's a girl's girl and I'm like "Mm, is she though and I think it's always such like a bad taste in my mouth when you realize that like they're not who they Mm -hmm. are like you don't even have to be a girl's girl it's literally just like finding out that someone isn't who they are or like they're just someone that you have conceptualized so differently in your head or perceived so differently in your head and it makes you like question your judgment in those situations which i think was captured very well exactly yeah Yeah. Mm -hmm. and so i just like yeah i like gasped when i heard that chorus because i was like (laughs) I was like, fuck, this is why I don't have friends, okay? (laughs) (laughs) Except you do. I have, like, two friends. (laughs) And that's okay, because I choose those two friends. It is okay. It is okay, but that's also just not true. Um, Okay. (laughs) Um, Okay. So this one is from Want That Too, which was Mm. interesting. The lyric you just read, because this sounds very similar, I'm realizing. Huh. Just listen. Okay. I was blindsided, couldn't see it coming, too young to be treated like that, you were on something, cut me down to nothing, and your knife still stuck in my back. So it's Ooh. almost like, like a, a, I didn't realize that until you imagery. said that, which is really, yeah, imagery. no it is. <laughs> um, and this one, I think, similar to what you were saying about We're Not Like, I really like this song lyrically because it was pretty specific for what it was talking about, Mm -hmm. but it wasn't about, like, a guy or, like, a relationship. This was very clearly about family or someone in the past in in her life. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, I think the line, like, too young to be treated like that, you cut me down to nothing and your knife's still on my back, where it's, like, they could be out that's, of your life, but like yeah. they're still there. And they're, how fucking annoying yeah, is that? Yeah, they're like a fact. They're is still, still looming. Yeah. Yes. Ugh. I like that. <gasps> that yeah. one just pissed me off. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. <laughs> too real. Oh, it too is. Real. Really? Yeah. 
Um, okay, my second one is actually from Calgary, and it's the best of me right now is looking a lot like a mess. And I'm like, you know what? You know what? That's it's so true. so simple, but like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And because like, again, it's like you always think like, right, the best of me is the best of me. Like, this is yeah. my best. The, be- yep. the highest that I can achieve. And your best um, doesn't always have to look perfect. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Damn, that's deep as shit. I know. I'm like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> um, all right. My last lyric mm-hmm. is from We're Not Alike. I When you were saying it, I thought it was the same, but it's not. Okay. So this says, you know there's nothing worse than missing the signs because you pulled the wool over your eyes. I'll admit when I'm wrong, but this time I'm right. Yeah. Like That was another again, one I was going to do. Yeah. Again, it. some of her lyrics are like, Get me in the club, yeah, boys. Will you? But then the <laughs> other on the. Can you do that again? <laughs> Never again in my life. Um, but on the other side of it, the lyrics like literally hit yeah. me so hard, and I was like, that came out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, and I like this one because it's like, again, it goes very much in the same vein as the one I was talking about from Grave, where it's like, it's like you're you're missing the signs you're trying to make this person something like so you're ignoring it but then it's like we actually i am going to pay attention to it this time so in a lot of senses her album made sense and like i could see how the songs were like very much the like the growth that she went through yeah so that was cool yeah Mm -hmm. actually yeah now that like we're talking about it it like musically it might be like oh there's too many ballads or like the bops sure. are weird but like lyrically i think it does it's cool well. yes mm-hmm. yeah agreed okay my last favorite lyric is from plastic palm trees and it's you could say that all my dreams came true oh what an underwhelming view and i'm like holy shit cuz i think we're always so so busy trying to chase whatever we're after right Mm -hmm. that when we finally get there we're like this is it like you know again it's like the cliche uh saying of like oh it's not about the destination it's about the journey but But, it is about the journey (laughs) yeah Yeah. no and i think it's like totally hitting on the sentiment of just like again very cliche but like living in the moment you know yes Um, Uh, you have to enjoy just as much as you can of life yeah take every day at a time and yes like work towards your goals like that's important but yeah like, don't have one thing be yeah. everything exactly yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. wow yeah. wow tate I, you did it tate you did it girl <laughs> you, did, you it. did it girl um we did it joe <laughs> the president of the united <laughs> states okay, we did anyways, it. But, uh, <laughs> um but no i think honestly talking about it made me like the song like or the song the album more lyrically and like story wise but i still feel the same overall about yeah yeah like there's a couple of good songs in there but it's not one i'm gonna have like on repeat personally that makes sense nice Alrighty. well selena tell our audience what we're gonna be talking about next week (laughs) <laughs> Next week, for the last episode of 2023, which is crazy, mm-hmm. uh, Ooh, right? Theoni and I are going to be doing uh, 2024 bingo, which mm-hmm. we so had we're done. we're going to make our predictions. Yes, we had done our 2023 bingo, um, and so now we want to do another bingo card for 2024. So, mm-hmm. honestly, this year, everything came out of, like, left field. So, like, I don't even know what to put down. <laughs> i don't even know either but i'm i'm excited to see what but i think honestly that opens the door for us to just say crazy stuff yes. and see what happens yeah yeah so <sighs> all righty <laughs> well thank you guys so much for listening and we'll see you next week bye, bye.